What's in the mist? An ending that oversteps. So here we go with another entry in my cataloging of good or even great movies that, at least to my way of thinking, have bad endings. And now I'm going to talk about one that I have gotten into a fair few arguments with people over, and that is The Mist. I'm talking about the ending, so you should understand there's going to be spoilers. Okay, here we go. So The Mist is a, is a horror movie um, based off a Stephen King. I believe it was a novella. I don't think it was a short story. I haven't read the original. But uh, so to lay it out, in case you're just here to watch me rant and you haven't seen the thing, it's a small town in Maine. Of course it is. It's Stephen King. And just a mist falls over the town, like really heavy, and covers the entire town. And what ends up happening is there are monsters in it, like weird, strange monsters and like really dangerous, really deadly things. A whole chunk of the town basically holds it up in the grocery store and they kind of come apart at the seams. Things, uh, you know, it, it does the whole sort of classic, the, re the, the true monster are, is the people, but there's, <laughs> there's also monsters outside. So um, at the end, there is a small group of, I think there's four of them. There's our main character played by Thomas Jane, his son and two others. They manage to get out of the, the grocery store where everybody was holed up. They get into a car and they just start driving, hoping to get out of the mist. So they go as they go basically go until they run out of gas. And Thomas Jane has a gun, he has a revolver. And it has three shots left. And with his son sort of resting his head on him. I think he's even actually asleep. And sort of looking back and sort of just silently, you know, catching the eyes of the other two and they, everyone kind of understanding what's going on because they're out of gas. There's no sign of the edge of the mist. They know the monsters are out there. And Thomas Jane having promised his son earlier in the film that he would not let the monsters get him, he shoots his son and the other two people, and then goes out into the mist. And I have no problem with this. This, honestly, I think is perfect. If it had stopped right there, you go to credits with him going out into the mist, screaming, trying to get the attention of the creatures to end the pain of what he just had to do. But that's not where the movie ended. Instead, the movie keeps going because as he goes out into the mist, hoping that the monsters will kill him, what happens instead is the army rolls up, clearing the mist with flamethrowers, meaning that what he just did was not necessary. And if he just waited probably literally two minutes, they would have been fine. And I hate that. I hate it because it's a complete overstep. In an effort to sort of twist the knife even harder with how much misery can we heap on, it just is a step too far and it broke the, it broke the spell that I, because up to that point, you know, what had happened, what he did in that car, I'm sitting there watching, oh my God. And then this ending happens and I just went, you gotta be friggin' kidding me. And I think, it, and it, this is a milder version of it in this case um, than some of the other ones, I'll, other films I'll eventually talk about uh, in this series, but I think that ending would have been so much more powerful with a sense of ambiguity, with the assumption that he goes out and gets killed by the monsters, but we don't know what happened to him after that. And I think that would have been so much more powerful because it would have left the audience with the sense of, oh my God, what would I have done? Would I have done that? Did he do what was under the circumstances 
the right thing. Instead, we get an ending that by trying to make it worse, by trying to make it hurt more, confirms, nope, he made the wrong decision. If he'd waited two more minutes, everything would have been fine. What a dumbass! And by confirming that he, in fact, made the wrong decision, to me, that actually weakens the impact of the moment. It makes it a lot less impactful and disturbing than it could. It goes, they had an ending that was disturbing. But by bringing in this one extra element at the end, it goes from being disturbing to simply being a cheap uh, attempt at at being, I was going to say sad, but like at being tragic. Tragedy is really hard to do well. It is. I mean, that, that's a simple tooth, truth. Tragedy is a really hard needle to thread because it can come off as stupid, overdone, melodramatic, maudlin. All, there's a ton of pit traps. So I just think it was a mistake for them to go for that extra step to try for tragedy when they had a wonderful sense of just disturbing. It was disturbing before that happened. And that just killed it. That killed it for me. And it's, and it's maddening. This is one of those movies that like just the last few minutes loses me. It's not dissimilar to Cabin in the Woods, first one I did for this series uh, in that sense. And that there's something really infuriating about a, a film that would have been great if it had just stopped like three or four minutes earlier than it did. And that is my thought on The Mist and why the ending of that film, I think, completely blew it. So, those are my thoughts on it. What are yours? Do you think I'm crazy? Do you understand where I'm coming from even if you don't agree with me? Or do I just make absolutely no sense and I might as well have just been talking gibberish for the last however long I've been talking? Whatever your thoughts are, drop something down in the comments. Let's talk about it. There's all the stuff to do, such as like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter, support me on Patreon, and much more besides. Links for all that stuff's down in the description. So until next time, this council is adjourned.